Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is coffee time and this is Sammy again here. And today is as you see Friday, 10th March 2023. And without further ado, let's jump to the next subject. Uh, as you see in the in the in the last video we we, we have talked about uh, these these methods uh, component life cycle and now we want we want to make an application to demonstrate how these things for example works and we want to make a mini application with a database and we want uh, to make uh, a class also okay i have here made uh, exam class name and number and i'm coming uh, i'm coming uh, what's this i'm coming here uh, i'm going to nuget packet to to install microsoft entity framework core and those tools here design sql server and tools because we want to make use of a database and for that thing uh, i have here uh, exam class and here I want to to say we want to make uh, a new class. Mm, let me open my text. Uh, let me see where can I find some something to copy. Uh, okay, this okay. Let me let me choose this name. This name. Uh, I take. Uh, I want to make now here. Uh, application context and i want to make it here in uh, in pages uh, page we don't want to i have here a class a c sharp class a name as a uh, application db context that's yes and this class is going to uh, implement if, uh, let me see implement db context db we db context let me let me see i'm um, copied that's why i have it and then what i'm doing then i put this here okay and here i'm saying this is i don't need this is also is for old project i don't also need this but i have exam class here i import exam class here and i say here exam i have exam yeah oh yeah exam and here we have to say namespace is something like here youtube component and we have here our database okay and i'm going to application uh, uh, sitting json and here i want to say i have here a connection string i want to add my database i have here connection which is that let me here i have your connection string these are standard things guys and here i have the name here is my application db context which is the same as there and my database is here uh you youtube uh, uh component com uh, youtube uh, component number two okay this is my database and I'm coming to my program class. I have to add it also to container and like this, like this. I'm added there here in my uh, container. And this is the name. Exactly, these are, these are uh, standard syntaxes. I add there and uh, I'm going to say here, rebuild it. Let's see, or I can build that at least. Let's check. Uh, if we have no error okay that's very good what we want to do i want to go to here here what what i want to say i want to say add uh, migration add migration and name first migration execute okay it's this name and as you see here uh, we get a data uh, it's going to make for us uh, data and and relations and, and i say then update database to to update my database and in this case for first time to build it okay let's see let's see here okay and now i'm going to sql server object explorer and i say here a database was youtube component 
database. Let me see YouTube component 2 and here we have tables and here we have exam and exam is exact the same class which have we, which we have there okay if i go here we have empty database okay that is good so far so good okay now i want to make a, a very fast to a interface i want to make interface uh, here i say i for example exam service i i say i exam service for example and this is just interface say and this interface has two method one really easy uh, a list of exam uh, all exam like this and the second method let me import this shit there and second method is going to be for example uh, for example get by id okay i want to say um task uh, yeah, you can say what you want you can say get an exam by id okay and i want to say uh, int id as and it accept uh, int as id okay this is two interface and we want to make other class to implement this class uh, here i want to say i have exam service implementation like java.cs and here i want to say this class is going to implement i exam service which has two method in body and i want to say interface and i get two things i say here uh, where get uh, all exam is equal to content we have to import context here let me see or i have it some where uh, uh, let me see have i somewhere no i think i have to, well, how can i find it let me i want to show you how uh, let's go to park application i want to show you how simple because i like just copy paste it so uh, so so much as possible okay i want to go here to to this park service and we want now to make connection with database okay here if i go here i want to say i i need my connection i could write it but uh, why when i can uh, copy it okay and here i want to say this is this and i say the name of uh, constructor is gonna to be that and here i say context dot exam dot to list okay like this i have a list of exam and return get all exam this method is going to to return me uh, to return me a list of thing uh, i want to say var get uh get by id first for example i want to say on a context that exam that first uh, first uh, uh, i want to say to say like this find uh if i'm not trying dot uh, find uh, dot find id mm, then i want to say uh return uh, get by id i think i think uh, here return this one i think i can do uh, change the method uh, signature also but it's okay i think let me let me uh, let me see or i can build it now so so far uh, uh, okay it's a task task let me see oh oh that was uh, which was that uh, if i'm coming to my i exam where is it i exam service here i can say i have a exam okay no need uh, for that and i go to my exam implementation here i say that's an exam and now return return that exam and now rebuild it for me because task and trade async uh, so you can you you can use it well and 
I use it also, but here is all about educational purposes, and uh, I don't think that is needed. That is no needed. Okay, I have here all things, and now and now here I want to add two page. First first page I want I want to say here first page I I say first page first page dot razor. This is a razor component. Okay, I say here this first this first page this first page has a has a direction which is uh, uh, page I want to say direction is uh, first page okay here is first page I want to say in the first page in the first page there is only one thing it is there is uh, let me see what I, I can they not here there is only a button there because I want you to understand there is a button there in the first page here here there is a there is a button I don't need class uh, and here here we want to say on click uh, we want to make uh, go next phase I want to say uh, on click we want to click on a method uh, private void and method is this like this we want that method and here we want to say I want to say here uh, add inject here inject inject uh, here here inject first of all I uh, exam service as uh, exam service okay that is first the second inject is going to be because I want to redirect from this page to other page because I say navigation manager if I'm not wrong here as a manager you are a manager okay I inject two things here one my this is my my uh, my interface and method which has a bridge to database and this is is this look I want to say when I click there when when we click there okay we want to go to the next page okay because that's why I say manager dot navigate to I want to say which is the next page uh, for example Mm, example page we want to say go to the example page plus one I want to say the next page the next page is is the, the signature of the next page is like this example and then ID which is uh, it can be uh, ID of our tables okay like this let me run this for a while let, let me run this let me run this if I click now here in the first page I expect to to go to a page as example that doesn't exist yet and I get some exception like this okay let's go first of all to this page it say cannot provide exam service type as exam service okay let me check my container here mm. here say at uh, i want to say at a scope i think let me find i think here let me scope add scope Mm, I put this here and I enter my I exam service and implementation exam service implementation and now I'm going to run it let's see how it runs and we want to see a button a clickable button to nowhere uh, uh, first page here first page first page has a button and it for, as and it navigate us to example page let's click there here it navigate us to example page one okay and now and now this here is what we want to talk about we go to the next page okay this is the thing you see here it says sorry there is nothing at this address 
before you see this this application initialized and then you see something or you, or you see some effects okay and now let's let's see i want now to say in the next page when when we click there here when we go to the next page we want here to get one data from database with this number which is in this case one but uh, in reality that is dynamic one here and you get it from your context of somewhere but this is the case now we want to make the second page first uh, in this in the first video you saw how we make a component reusable and here in this video we see how we we make a short way of components just just like this okay and now here i make second page a razor component i want to say the name of that page is example here uh, or say or say uh, example dot uh, razor like this example dot uh, example dot razor i think okay and here i want to say page which is example was example or oh, exam example example no here let's see index example i say example okay and here i say uh, exam id exam id which is here exam id i want to say this exam id is want to come as a parameter okay i go to example page here example page and here i want to say that is an integer and here here i want to say I, I take this here and i put it to example and i want to say this is coming as parameter okay this is coming as parameter exam id okay with other word now what i want to see when i click on that button when i'm coming here i want to see that number which is number one in this case which id here if i'm coming here to to first page i want to see this id i say i say in the in in, in this page here here i say id is coming as parameter this id is that id okay let's see how it acts as we wish okay and now let's go to the first page click here and see i go to the next page and i see that number also which is this one coming as parameter and now here i want to say here we have we have talked about uh, here if you if you saw last video we talked about uh, we talked about child and those methods i want now to use on initialize async for example it it want to say when the page initialize do something for me and we want now check what now here in example we want to say in example we have a method it say on initialize async and i want to say here i have a public or you can make it pl uh, private i say here I'm, i want to make an object of exam as exam is equal to new okay and here here as you as you remember we made uh, we made uh, I, first of all i want here to to, to make a use as, of those two inject in example here and here i want to say when this page loads okay when this this page initialize i want to say exam which is this exam oh, exam example here 
exam which we have to say at using uh, which is youtube component dot uh, where is and that model okay i import that and we have no problem exam i want to say when the page fires up exam exam is equal to i want now to make a call to database exam service dot get exam by id i want to say find exam by id and it accept an integer and i want to pass now here exam id which is coming from first page with other words this is going to check that and if there is if there is we want to say here now uh, there is there is one item okay we want to have one item i say here uh, at uh, exam id exam id we have and i want to say exam uh, exam dot uh, name and exam dot number uh -huh. we have also exam dot number exam dot name and i say I, or, or do or i do it like this uh, h5 for example uh, here h5 and in other h5 i say uh, exam dot uh, number and like this okay let's see or we get something let's say let's say add character what it's okay let's now fire up let's see how it works when we go to the next page we expect to get uh, one data from database oh we don't have any data there <laughs> let's let's uh, say first data is uh, re and number is 10 okay we have exam id 1 with this and now uh, let's go with other word we have a valid data in our database okay and now you have to say first page and here i want to click and i want to see this there i click and here you see some uh, the threat is some delay you see some delay uh, let's do that again okay i want to say uh, i want to go to the first page and i click okay this is the second time let me stop it if you if you if if you if you take a look carefully you see a lag of one millisecond and that is initial on initialized it has to check that and finish its work and after that give us some result you know what i'm saying here you see one two three first page click see yeah one two two seconds and then we get data and now and now sami if we say here there is data now exam number one if i say here now if i say here in the first page i say take data number two for me there there is no data number two okay here in our database let's see what is result of that or or, or application crash or what uh, let me go to the uh, same page as first page click what happened completely crashed okay and now because it say object reference not set to an instance of object. It say is null 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 exception null pointer non null pointer is null exception. What we should do? Okay, if you take a look here, we can take it by 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 a thing. I want to say here. Uh, here, after that you you make a call when in initialize when it make a call. I want to say if uh, if uh exam is or is if exam is equal to null what do i want to say we are coming and we want to say if there is no data like that we want to, to go back to to first page navigate to which is uh first page i want to say go to first page and then here is true just refresh everything for me okay 
if exam is null, go there. When it's initialized, it's it going to first check mm, task dot complete task. So like this. If I say here await, okay, like this. And now let's fire up. Let's fire that up. If there is, uh, we want to, to to take a look and then other approach also. Uh, to to see first first page go there i say click boom nothing okay if i say here now here okay and now i'm coming now here i say here at uh if i want to say if uh, at exam if if exam if a if exam is null uh, is equal to null if exam is null then say uh, uh, for example h7 uh, uh, requested item is null try uh, with valid number for example and then else, uh, else this. If not that, this. Okay. And now let's say rebuild it. Let's fire let's say uh, first page here we want to click you see there is nothing here hey, wait what is this <laughs> like this let's let's uh, if examine uh, we want to check number two number two there is no number two you say uh, really uh, readable understandable easily to 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 understand that first page click and see and see it go to the next page and data is zero and it's come back see it's come back see it's go there and number two there is no number two coming back coming back coming back coming back you see with other word let me say it should be enough because i think we had to to build it one time because this approach is 100 percent okay and we don't need to take it from from html and that is the second approach and this is the first one okay we want to go to the first page there is no data and and it's on oh, why it's like this huh? if exam is equal to the to zero null okay exam is null like this mm. it should work like this it should it should be okay this and we don't need to add extra lines there if not we we do that <laughs> first page and click no it seems we we need that here just really uh, say here i i can now here say just uh, remove this okay we can check it from when it uh, fires up or from there here checks every time and if there is nothing there it shows this custom message what you are going to 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 show up okay here i'm doing like this and now like this okay and now let's go to the page first page fire up click requested is null try a valid number which is here okay guys this was for tonight 
have a nice day and see you in the next time with new example and ciao